Alright guys, it is Def King here back with a brand new video and guys welcome back to another one in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you about Teleport service now exactly what is teleport service you may be asking well Let me go ahead and show you okay, so test it out I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did earlier and I'm gonna join this game and it's gonna teleport me to another world um, I'm gonna be in this game right here, and you'll see Okay, so I'm loading into this game right now, okay, and it's just a basic simulator map, right? Pretty, pretty uh, nice, I guess, I don't know, um, <laughs> but I'm, oh, oh gosh, the, the shop sign fell. Okay, it's a free model, I, I just imported it to test it out, but anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and touch this part, and it's going to teleport me to an entire other game. Well, actually, not another game, but another place. So I touched it, and as you can see, it teleported me. So now I'm in the quote-unquote nether, okay? <laughs> I just named it like the nether, but basically it's a good analogy, right? Um, what I'm doing is I'm not going to, I'm not going to like another game. It's the same data. Like, if, for example, if I had a data store in that game, this game's going to have the same data store as well. But basically, it's, it's another place, okay? So it's sort of like in Minecraft when you go from the, um, you know, like the, the actual like under overworld into the nether which is the underworld right so that's what we'll be doing in today's video okay so um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this and I'm gonna go ahead and make an entire new base plate and create all this from scratch okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get a new base plate right here and before you actually are able to teleport from place to place you need to have uh, an actual published game so let me go ahead and publish this game so I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to file publish to Roblox there we go, and then I'm going to create a place, and then I'm going to call it the over the the mine <laughs> the good world. Or there you go. Okay, okay. Now keep it. I'll name, I'll name it the good world. And I'll create a place. There we go. And it'll create the place. Now it's on Roblox. And now I'm going to hit next, and then done. Okay. Now that I have this right here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, make a little thing right here. Okay. So to, to distinguish this. To distinguish this game from the um, from the underworld, I'm not gonna make the whole thing again. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a green part right here, and it'll be grass. So that way we know this is this is the good world, right? Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and actually make the bad world or the Nether. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my um, game right here, and if you guys don't have this, go ahead and go up to View. And then go to Game Explorer, click on that, and uh, then you'll have it. But basically, this is um, like a little area where you can set your badges for your game, your dev products, uh, all that stuff, right? And obviously, your places. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add a new place to my game. Now, I'll show you what it does in a second. But basically, when I right-click and do this, it's not going to make a new game, but instead like a new map, like an entire new workspace. That's the best way to put it. It's just like another, it's like another map, right? So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is... Right click this, rename it. I'm going to go ahead and name it the bad world. Um, there we go. And um, then we have that. Okay. So now what I'm going to go do, go ahead and do is I'm going to double click this one. And it's going to open up this place in an entire new Roblox Studio session for me. So now that I can edit this world. And uh, obviously it's going to be a bit, it's going to be a blank base plate right now. But that makes sense because we just created it. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a little piece of nether block. Well, not another block. I'm going to add like a little piece of lava. And then that way we know this is another world of the bad world. So I'll just make it no, not foil fabric. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't look like lava, but you get the point, right? You get the point. Okay. So now that I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and publish that real quick to make sure it all saves. So I'll hit publish to Roblox, and basically now it just saved to Roblox. So if I ever join the game on the actual Roblox page, it'll join. And also before I actually go ahead and do this too. And start scripting this. Um, as you can see here, this is the start place. The good world is the start place, and you can tell that because you can see right here there's a little like spawn button or the spawn icon, and that means if you ever join this game, which is the good world, that's what the game's called, you're gonna join this place, which is also called the good world because the place, the start place, is the name of the game, right? Um, so yeah. Basically, and you can change the start place if you want. You can change it to the bad world if you, if you just right click and then hit mark as start place. But we don't want to do that. We want to have a good world uh, start place, so we'll keep that how it is. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make another part. Okay, I'm going to make a part and I'm going to first of all rename this one to grass so don't confuse anyone. And then I'm going to put a script inside this part. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so if they touch this part, they're going to teleport to. Um, the nether world okay so it's like another uh, like imagine this part is, is the nether portal okay yeah um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do local teleport service uh, we, need, we need to get we need to get the teleport service first so I'll do local teleport service is equal to game get service teleport service and then I'm gonna go ahead and do 
Actually, that's it. Um, I got that now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to make a teleport, okay? Oh, actually, no, I need to do, um, I need to do the part too. So I'll do local part is equal to um, script.parent because I put this script into that part. And then actually I need to get suit. So if it's touch, it'll part.touch, connect, function. Um, and then also we need to put the hit. So we need to make sure that the part that actually touched it was a human. So we'll do local humans equal to hit.parent find first child humanoid and just making sure it's a human right we want it, we, we check the part that hit it and then check the parent of it and then check to see if it has a child called humanoid and if it does then we know it's a player so we'll do local char or we know it's a character so we'll do local char is equal to um human or we'll do hit dot parent there we go okay now that we have that we're going to go ahead and they get the player we need the player to teleport for um, with so we'll do local players equal to game dot players and then there's a function of players called get player from character and then we'll put the character in there and then there you go we're good okay so now we teleport so I'm gonna go ahead and do teleport service dot or colon teleport and as you can see here it shows actually all the properties but if you if you if you hover over that you can see it says um, void teleport so it doesn't return anything but basically um, the properties are or the parameters should I say um, the place ID okay so where do you want to teleport um, the player that you want to teleport the instance of the player teleport data any data you want to send over and then a loading screen and now we're not going to do that this time um, it will be way too long if I make a custom loading screen but if you wanted to you can so definitely explore that if you ever want to it's uh, pretty cool so yeah all right so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do teleport and then first of all like I said we need the place ID so the place ID we want to teleport is the underworld so we, we need the underworld of we need the ID of this place right here okay now how do we get it well the easiest way to get it right now is just right click here and then hit copy ID to clipboard but if you weren't like if you didn't have this right here how you normally get place IDs is you just go to your um, you go to your game on the Roblox page and then you just copy that right there and it's gonna give you the ID of the place and that's the ID right there right uh, so yeah okay anyways now we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there because I have it I just right click that hit copy and then paste it in there that's the first parameter and then we need to paste the player okay so we already have it defined right there so it'll be player and then we need to actually paste or pass on any data so is there anything we want to send to this place before we teleport is there something we want this place to know about the character now um before i actually explain this real quick um whenever you send data guys all i'm going to say is make sure that you do not send anything like cash so for example here's how you'd send data okay let me show you real quick all right so i'm going to do local teleport local teleport data is equal to a table okay and then we'll have a data tell we'll have a table of data and I'll do um, I'll do cash is equal to 50 now here's the thing do not do this if you actually had like a, a stat in your game called cash and that like you actually did like game or you did player dot leader stats dot cash or whatever the, the thing is do not do that the reason why is because this can be tampered with you can send data or you can actually even teleport from a local script right now we're doing it from a server script but you can do it from a local script so that means that this data could be tampered with so do not send anything like cash or your xp or your level or whatever because that could be easily tampered with on an exploit because any local script that you could send could be exploited okay so do not send stuff like cash um what i'd recommend sending if you, if you want to send anything at all is i would send something like um you know something like is player crouching right like it, it, it's it's a little bit weird but but basically like if if the player is crouching um then you can send that over right because like you want to say he, you want to make sure your player stays crouched when you teleport um or or are not crouched right so basically you can send that over and that's something like it's simple but like if someone were to exploit and and um you know change the data to say they're crouching okay who cares right you, you're i don't care you're crouching and you just said that in the script doesn't make much of a difference for an exploiter or it doesn't make much of a difference to our game it's not going to make the anyone's game worse or it's not going to make them any better if they start off crouching it's just it would be nicer of a user experience if the player was crouching and they actually um state crouch right that's kind of cool so yeah um so stuff like that anything that that's local and it's going to wipe um, or it doesn't really matter 
then that's what you I would recommend transferring. Remember, like I said, do not transfer stuff like cash. If you want to like find out how much cash a player has in the Nether, right? Um, you could actually just do use data stores, and data stores are going to be the same across both places, right? Because it's saved under one game, but it's just different places. So you'll just use data stores for that. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I would just save it before you teleport, and then you should be good. Anyways, now that we have that, we're pretty much good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and write a little script. Actually, no. Actually, we'll go ahead and teleport. So I'm going to go ahead and hit File, and I'm going to publish this, and and then we're going to go ahead and actually boot up our game. So let me go ahead and join it. So right here. I want to join it. Also, you unfortunately, um, teleport service doesn't work inside of Roblox Studio, so you need to make sure you just um, publish your game, or make sure you join your game in the actual game. All right, so now that we have this, that's our teleport part right there. So I'm going to go ahead and touch it, and we should teleport. Also, use code tap. Yep, all right. Um, there we go. Now that we're in here. Okay, we're in the underworld now. Perfect. It worked just like you wanted to do. We are now here. It is that simple. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool, honestly. I like it a lot. Uh, anyways, now that we got here, we still actually didn't get our data. We didn't actually do anything with the data because we didn't write any scripts at all in the underworld. There's nothing. There's no scripts there at all. So what we need to do is actually write some scripts there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this game, and uh, then we'll write some scripts here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is um, we're not gonna teleport back. We're, we can, if you want to make a feature teleport back, it's the same thing. All you have to do is just make a place ID different. All right. Obviously, it's very simple. You guys know, you guys know how to do that now. But anyways, what we're gonna do is actually get the data because we sent over data. So how you do that is you first of all get your teleport service. So also make a local script. Do it, make, do it in a local script inside of your starter player scripts right here um, because um, it has to be local script to actually collect the data you sent. Um, but you can you can teleport from a local script or a server script. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so local teleport service is equal to game dot get service teleport service, and then we're gonna do teleport service. Um, um, actually, no, we're gonna do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, and then we're gonna do uh, teleport service dot get player or get local player did teleport data, and there we go. And actually, this is a function, right? But we just, so we need to make sure we save this to. Um, to a table so we have a teleport data. So we'll do local teleport data is equal to that. And that's gonna return this function is gonna return into this a variable right here um, all the data we need. So yeah. Alright, so now we'll do teleport now we'll do if teleport data dot is player crouching is equal to equal to false then prints player is not crouching. Right? Um, because all we're doing is we're doing the we're getting the table, and then we're doing table dot is player crouching, because remember that's what we had saved right there. We did uh, is player crouching, so you teleport data dot is player crouching, and then we set it to false. So if it is false, then we're going to print this. So now when we join the game, it should print that out in our console. So let's go ahead and publish this to make sure it saves to Roblox, and then we should run the game and it'll work just fine. Alright. Now let's go ahead and hit play and see if that works. Now also, if you guys are wondering, there actually is no console inside of your, um, you know, Roblox game. Like, I, found, I mean, it was, I mean, there's no output. I mean, at the bottom, right? So, um, how do you actually read your prints? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So first, I'm gonna teleport real quick, and then I'll show you. But you need to actually see what what where, where it printed, right? So how you do that? You press F9. And it's gonna give you a um, developer console, and it, it tells you a bunch of useful stuff like this, like memory, how your game is working, is it laggy, you know, stuff like that. So um, useful stuff, and I'll I'll be explaining that all this in one in a future video. So make sure you subscribe for that uh, one day. Anyways, um, if you go into your log right here, you can see it printed. Player is not crouching, so it worked. The play, the data was sent, and player is not crouching. Obviously, if you wanted to actually have an actual good game, you'd make it so it didn't say that. You'd make it so the player was standing, and if it, if the player was crouched, then you'd make it so the player is is crouched, right? So that makes sense. You make sure that works. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's how that works. That's literally teleport service uh, in a nutshell. Super easy stuff, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you one more quick thing called. Um, re reserve ser or reserving servers. Now, basically, what this is, if you guys don't know, reserving servers is basically um, it's how you get a new server. So, if you ever played a game like Dungeon Quest or something like that, and you know they teleport you teleport you to a new dungeon and a new place, right? Basically, if they were to just teleport to a new place. They would have everybody in the same place, but what you do instead is you make a new, uh, you reserve a new server, so that way you join an actual new server um, in that place, right? Hope that makes sense. Uh, so how you do this 
is you go ahead and uh, reserve the server first, and then you need to, um, yeah, you need to reserve the, first, reserve, reserve, reserve the server first, and then you need to teleport to it, okay? So here's how you do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and go back to our place right here. And I'm going to delete all this because we had it, but you can save that if you want. Um, I don't really care. Um, and then we can delete that too, uh, just for now. Um, anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do... Um, well, actually, honestly, I would show you guys, but... Actually, I'll show you anyways. Okay, basically, what's gonna what you would do is you would just or let me save that stuff. What you would do is you, you would just um, get the server, or you would create a um, like a server. You would reserve a server. Okay, so here's how you reserve it. You have to get a code. Okay, so you do local uh, code or reserve. We can name whatever you want. Reserve server code is equal to teleport service reserve server. And then you pass in the place ID. So we're gonna do um, this, or we'll copy the bad world, and we'll paste it right there. All right. So now we each reserved a server, and we basically what we did was we used this function called reserve server. We passed in the the nether world, and we're going to teleport to that server to this, uh, or we're gonna teleport to a private server with that code, and it's gonna put us in a private server, not a VIP server, but a private server, right? Um, yeah. I think okay <laughs> I'm kidding and, and, and anyways so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and teleport to it so how you do it is you just do teleport service dot tell or colon teleport um, to private server and now it's pretty much the same properties of um, of the uh, what's it called of the teleport but you instead you have first of all your place ID you want to teleport to right um, wait, the reserve server access code returned by, wait, I'm reading the wiki right now, I'm, I'm, I thought I didn't mess something up, but reserved server access code returned by, oh wait, actually, this should be this, um, if, if I'm reading this right, it should be, um, this, like, game.place ID, so it should be this game's place ID, so, um, yeah, um, that should be, that's how you get your code. Yeah, that wait, but it doesn't make any sense because No, 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 okay. I, I got it right in the first place. Okay, copy your code right here copy this code um, Of the of the another world you copy that in here, right? And it's gonna give you the code for for that server Okay, it's gonna give you the same code and then what you want to do is you're gonna want to TP to that place Okay, so you're gonna do um, Teleport service colon teleport private server and then the place you want to teleport to so that that right there and then you're going to paste in your reserve server code because that's the code of the server and then you're going to paste in the player you want to teleport or players maybe if you want to uh, if you want players um you do that now this is a server script so we'd actually have to go back and get the player from the part um but yeah and then you want to teleport the spawn name or, or if, like where you wanted to spawn, right? You could teleport that, um, and then you have to teleport the data. So what data you want to teleport with it? You send that in last. So basically, I'm not gonna show you guys right now because I, it's not gonna actually show anything because there's nobody actually playing my game, so it's not gonna put me in a new server. It'll look like it just like I really. It'll look like I just teleported regularly, right? Because there's nobody actually playing my game. So if I wanted to, though, I could do that, but um. I'm not going to. There's really no point. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. But yeah. Um, also, there's other things in teleport service like I haven't covered. Like I said, there's custom loading GUIs. There's uh, other things like um, you can teleport to a server, right? But it's going to put you at your, at a certain spawn point. So it's that's that's going to be teleport um, to or teleport to place instance right or teleport to spawn by name and then you're going to put like the the id of the place and then you put like the spawn name so yeah um anyway stuff like that but yeah anyway guys that's pretty much um teleport service hope you guys did enjoy it if you did leave a like smash like button okay i appreciate it if you do and um yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video also i have a question before this video ends uh for the for the you know the tire dev king supporters out there um i actually have a nice kind of like face cam set up so if you want me to use face cam, let me know. I might do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'd make it better for you guys to watch. I don't know, honestly. Um, but I might use face cam if you guys would want that. So, yeah. Uh, let me know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video now. See you guys. and Leave a like. Enjoy. And keep on scripting. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye.